the left-handed Malaysian Wong Chun Han and Sonia Dwi Kunkoro of Indonesia. The young Indonesian, just 19 years of age, and what a tournament he's having. Former medalist in the World Junior Championships in the year 2000, silver medal when he was only 16 years old, and now the reigning Asian champion. And let's just remember to win that Asian title he had to beat Chen Hong, and he did so in two games. But let's look first of all at Wong Chun Han, the left-handed, 26-year-old born in Kuala Lumpur, 1 meter 83, and looking at his path through to this quarter-final. Well, had to play Budi Santoso in the second round. Remember, he was All England finalist a year ago. And then beat the number four seed, Anna's Boson of Denmark, in the third round. 15-6, 15-6, that was very comfortable win over the more favoured player. So Sonny Dui Kunkoro, his path through to today's quarterfinal. Well, what a match he had in that very first round. Peter Gaeda of Denmark, twice a world championship medalist. A bronze medal four years ago and then two years ago, the silver medal. Coming back from injury, of course, Peter Gaeda. But that match, so two straight games, an hour and six minutes and then of course in the third round put out the number 10 seed Ronald Susilo of Singapore close second game there 15-13 but looking in great form it has to be said there he is the Asian champion and Darren we see so many Indonesian players coming through at such a young age this man just 19 years old and already achieved so much in the sport. Semi-final earlier this year in the Swiss Open. So a great future in front of him. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Wong Chung Han, Malaysia. On my left, Sony V. Konkoro, Indonesia. Sony V. Konkoro to serve. Love all. Play. So the very first rally won by the youngster from Indonesia. Wong Chun Han, the left-hander, nearest to us. Commonwealth Games gold medalist back in 1998 when the event was played in Kuala Lumpur. Three, sorry, four career titles to his name. Wong Chun Han, of Three, course, been on the lock. circuit and played on the world tour for a number of years now, but so far this year has really failed to live up to his seeding positions. He's, he's lost That's a bit of form, but appears to be coming back into it during these championships. Lock. Yes, exactly. So look at his, his path through. He's won his games fairly comfortable. He's looked very good. Um, and, that, and that sometimes happens. He's at the world championships now, the best stage in his career. You know, players want to perform. Now, what about this young talent from Indonesia, Three. though? I mean, uh, the way the Indonesians produce player after player, especially in the men's side, whether it's men's doubles, especially men's singles, that are potential champions. Oh, it, it's awesome, Jill. You know, the, the track record of young Indonesians is incredible, but the, the depth in players they've got to practice with and to look up to. You know, Love. you're playing with the best Three. day in, day out, so it must be so good for the youngsters of Indonesia. 
it just a question of success breeds yeah, success and the sparring partners, or is the coaching system also helping? I, I think both, Jill, but playing with the best players, Three, you know, your level oh. has got to rise, and I think this is what the Indonesians do so well. Very much so. Leap from Wong then up on his forehand corner. Wong well, very much a shot three. maker. It's some lovely angles, lovely shots. He's just got to try and relax and play these nice shots he can. He's a very explosive player in his style, isn't he? He does a lot of jump smashes and and suddenly injects pace into the rally. That's right, Jill. He's, you know, the contrasting styles here, but if, if you look at the young Indonesian, again, he looks so relaxed at this stage. Whereas Wong looks a little bit nervous, a little bit... Um, you know, he, he can't settle into his game yet. He needs, he needs a couple of long rallies, get rid of the nerves. Stamps over. Yes, and like that. that, that was a nervous error. Yeah, exactly, he wasn't under pressure there. Love. Oh, that's incredible. The racket head control to just clip the shuttle down across Ball. court. Ball. Fantastic movement. Moving round the head very quickly. Superb deceptive sh drop shot. Swiss Open in the round of last 16 and a very comfortable win for the Indonesian on that occasion. 15-5, 15-12. Yeah, one not quite find his, found his length yet. He's looking a bit too tight to the lines. Plenty of Malaysian support Love. here in the Four. National Indoor Arena. players there. Again, it was better for Wong though, he was more patient in the rally, he's, he's getting into it, his, his shots are starting to come, but in the end, Sonny just gets up that floor and a lovely Stop. clip, taking the pace off. Shots over. Oh, that's incredible. Total commitment at the net from Wong Chin Han. Love, yeah, absolutely, Jill. Good net shot, but up he goes. Reads it well. Yeah, but you're right, Darren. He really hasn't settled so far, and I suspect that asking to tail down is really more of a tactical Four. break. Wants to Four. recompose his thoughts. 
That's right, try and break up the rhythm a little bit, start again, get back to the game. You know, we're seeing one good rally from him and then one unforced error. Of course, I mean, well, he's, he's, he's not that old. Wong Chin Han's been on so, for such a long time. He's only 26 years of age. But, you know, sometimes it seems to me that maybe he sort of feels that his chances are running out. Does it, does it get harder for a player as you get older? Everybody assumes that it gets easier because you have more experience. No, that's right. You put more pressure on yourself, I think. You know, you, you, you want to take titles. You've got to take titles. Oh. People are expecting oh. it from you. And I think that, that that's what Wong suffers with a little bit. Five, love. Another unforced error. And already five love in this opening game. The Indonesian. Seen the explosive Five. style of Wong Chun Han. Is that what the problem is? Does he need to relax into his own sort of game? Yeah, so I definitely think so. You know, look at difference in style, styles. Um, Sonny looking very relaxed, just just doing the basic things That's right. Over. Whereas you're looking at Wong, he's going for lines. He's playing too tight at the moment. He's, he's stuck on love at the moment. He can't get off it. He needs to get Five. off it. Again, bringing the shuttle down the other way, cutting across it. Again, good judgment. Shuttle landed just along of that back line. Darren, have you played against Wong Chin Han? Yes, I actually Five. played him at the All England Championships a few years back. Um, and again, when he's on his game, he, he really is deceptive. You do not know where he's going to hit it, and that is his biggest strength. Oh, he's missed that one. Shots over. Five. Again, he, he played the rally where, well, he had the opportunity, but again, he's just trying too tight to the lines. Instead of giving himself a little bit more margin. Oh, that's lovely. I really got himself in position well there, Darren. Yeah, a lot better. We've just noticed the last couple of rallies now, he's starting to play his shots. He's not so tense. Forced error from Sonny then. Three, really no reason. Five. Not that much under pressure. But Wong will be feeling a lot better about the situation now. Yes, the Malaysian winning the battle at the net. And do you see that as a crucial area of this match, Four, the net play, five. who can dominate that? Yes, I do, especially for Wong, because when he gets a lift and it goes up, as I was saying, he's, he's very deceptive, and that's when he's at his best. So by him trying to dominate the net to get the lift is going to be more to an advantage for him. Did he 
a retrieve that cross court smash. Absolutely fantastic. I, watching from here, I thought it a clear winner there. Somehow got his racket to it. Totally surprised Sonny by getting that back. It wasn't just getting it back, the fact that he recovered so quickly. On the floor, straight up. Fantastic, that was. So, having been love five down now, back on level terms at five all in this opening game. Racket head control. Gets up ready for the next shot. Incredible. has changed round even in these early five. stages. Absolutely, Jill. It's you know he, he was five love down, he's six five up now. Not a lot has changed, but Sonny's Sonny's made a few unforced errors now. The first five points he was solid as a rock. by the neck cord. He came out very steady, but he's just got a bit soft. He's not doing much with the game. Wong's, you can see Wong's confidence is growing. You know, he's got right back into his five love down, seven five up. He's happy with the way things are going now. rally from Sonny then this time more patient a little bit more to his drops a bit more oomph in them a bit more purpose to his clears Great smash, but look at the acceleration into the net for the kill. Fantastic speed. Well, he thought about it, but in the end, he made the right call. Great judgment. Nine, six. Goodness, that was close. But it was just long. First real injection of pace we've seen from Pinkoro. 
Yeah, absolutely. He's, he's, he's just been a little bit Five. soft. He's, he's not been doing much to hurt Wong, but there we see all of a sudden change of pace, which I think is, is what's needed in his game at the moment. Solitaire himself. Fine. If one can do a knockoff, I can too. Again, coming into net so quick. Gonzalo, you talked about his speed about the court, but he's he's not so dynamic in his style as his opponent, is he? No, that's right. Fine. We've, with one, if his confidence grows, he settles down, you'll see some spectacular stuff. Whereas Sonny is, is, is more of a, a runner. He's more a basic player, very good, doesn't make many unforced errors, but he's just not imposing himself enough on the game at the moment. Yeah, uh, fantastic seven. rally. And this is this is where what we're talking about, where he is at his best. He gets a lift, up he goes, he holds it, he holds it, the last moment, cuts across the shuttle, leaving Sonny for dead. as a bit of a slow starter here he was love five down in this opening game and of course yesterday's third round match against the number four seed Anna's Boson he was six love down in that opening game yes I, I think so Jill he's, uh, obviously it, it's shown that way but you know I, I think he's a nervy player it, yeah. a lot of his, his, his adrenaline is going he's nervous he can't settle down but as you look at him there he's a different player to the start of the game he's settled down he's playing his shots now he looks more relaxed Time's over. Seven. Eleven. Well, perhaps not totally controlling his nerves. Yeah. Oh, dear. see the Indonesian just stuck to the spot because he just didn't 11, know which direction eight. the attacking play would come no idea it was going down his forehand side most deceptive player on the tour at the moment Darren yes I, I think one of them I think the um, the new young Chinese boy is up there with him Bao Chun Lai yeah I think he's, he's a fantastic talent as well Again, sending his opponent the wrong way as he plays the winning smash. Well, yeah, Sonny, he got caught, a short lift, he has to guess, he has to guess which way, he goes for the backhand corner. Lovely straight smash though. Side. 
13. Yeah, he just, as you say, Jill, he's, he's trying to change it a little bit. He was playing the right game there, but really a short flick from him straight up to the forehand side. perhaps with that shot from Wong Chun Han. to his game strike now anything up in that forehand he's having huge success with every time it goes up there one smash come in knock off two points from this opening game in great style this opening game first game it. won by Wong Chung Han 15-8 well, once again the deception from that deep forehand corner from Wong Chin Han but you perhaps have to ask the question Darren why on earth is the Indonesian playing him to that corner yeah, it's a typical example in that last rally deal I think I saw five shots go up into the forehand corner of Wong. Now you'd think, you know, you lose two shots from the front, well, I'm going to change my tactics, go backhand corner, you know, do something different. But he's kept plugging away and it's, it's, it's to his detriment. Flicking his wrist at the very last moment. Looks like he's going to flick to the back, bends the wrist, and a, the depth of little touches there. Now, you've been speaking to Sonny Dwee Kinkoro in the 90 second time out there, Darren. What, what advice would you have given him? Well, a couple of key things, dear. One was the obvious about the forehand side. Stop lifting, stop giving it away to the forehand corner. I'd like to see him up the pace of the game a little bit more. You know, attack a little bit more, because he's trying to defend, he's giving the lifts away, it's not working for him. So change the attack of the game. More drop shots, look for the net. Stop being content with just lifting off the net the whole time. Three, block. right Darren that worked a lot better for him when he was attacking yeah and we haven't seen enough of that from him it sort of sat back it, it looks like it's, it's, it's within himself a little bit you know you feel like there's a bit more that could come out of him he doesn't have the same variety of shot though does he there's uh, Joko Suprianto the Indonesian coach of course former world champion when the event was last played here in Birmingham in 1993 
love free. One, three. from the backhand net, flicks it cross court, up into Three, the forehand of Wong, one. Wong jumps up, cuts across, winner again. in then this time he's punching Wong, round the head three. of Wong Wong looking to cover the forehand side a great attacking smash to finish the rally to get behind the shuttle One, and play the smash. Three. Yeah, very quick, but this is what I'd like to see a little bit more of, you know, looking for the attack. Don't just give the lift away. Two, three. Good retrieving from Solid Air. Got it back, done very well. One coming in, just trying to play too tight to the tape. Yeah, it was, it was a close call, but what's good is he's changing the direction of his attack now. Cross courts, he's mixing it up. Plays. It was pulling Sonny all over the court there. Again, deceptive forehand. Done extremely well to get that back. Making him work very hard. It's a good length by Wong. Took it early from the take, flicked off into the corner. Yeah, a little glance back at the line as if to say to himself, I wonder, would it have drifted out? Not this by much. But this is where he's got to keep his discipline, Five, isn't it? Three. Cut yeah. out those unforced errors. Yeah, definitely now. He, you know, he had the opportunity. I missed it by a fraction, but it's out. He's lost the point. Great smash from Wong, but set up by a superb spinning Six, net shot. Three.
total commitment at the net. He plays this spinning net shot, Seven, and he's three. so eager to wait for the reply. Leaps forward, brushes the shuttle off the top of the tape. As you say, Jill, when you're playing them shots, you've got to be totally committed. There's not a lot Solly can do with it at the moment. He has to try and dig it out. But he's not getting the shuttle to the back of the court, and with a short lift when you're playing somebody that's so deceptive overhead, it's just suicide, really. Shots over. Three, seven. drift in this arena as we look Seven, down on the court three. the shuttle going away from us so not surprising that the players are struggling hitting towards that far end shuttle tending to go a little bit long but in general terms Darren the drift not too bad is it no it's, it's not too bad you know there a lot of venues can be a lot worse the players are used to playing in big holes big venues so so it shouldn't be a problem for them really I think to a certain Bao Chun Lai. Sub <coughs> over. Three, seven. Termination in that smash. Short Four, serve. Seven. Moves so fast back to the shoal. Total commitment in that smash. So he has got the weapons, he's just not using them enough at the moment. There we go, much better. One first smash down the line straight. That one changes the angle. Again, Five, a lot more power seven. in his smashes now. Sonny driving Seven, the rally, five. smashed straight at his body. He was there, racket out in front, as you say, steering it into the corner. Five, eight. 
me about him today. Sometimes he's happy just to go half place, to be patient and play the rally, but all of a sudden you see this explosiveness from him. In he comes. Terrific acceleration there. time that Wong Chin Han is hitting a smash he's charging forward to the net and, and that's the it's, end of the rally yeah right. it, it's obviously the key thing is he's is, is got to try not to give the lift away so much he's giving it away he's having to guess at where Wong's hitting the shuttle and that's why he can't get on to the next shot Exactly, Jill. That was a much better, that was more of a flick. Rather than a lift high, gives him time to leap off the floor. He pushed that one, catching and making him, taking it late. 9-5 in this second game. Oh. Well, I suppose Pinforo has to stand back in his defensive position, waiting for those big smashes. And then, of course, he's vulnerable for the drop shot. Yeah, but I mean, again, a high, high lift gives one more time. It's going to keep you guessing. You're rooted to the spot. You can't move before he's hit the shuttle. shaky start and almost a question of it's now or never as far as Sonny Dwi Kunkoro is concerned if he carries on playing like this he's going to lose he might as well throw all caution to the wind and just really go for it yeah he's, he's got nothing to lose now do what he can all out attack anything So two points away from a place in the semi-final and a guaranteed bronze medal. Oh, that's brilliant. Fantastic play again from Wong. Wong hats off to him today. He really has played superb. If you look at Sonny there, again, his feet, he doesn't know where to go. He's having to wait till the last minute before he can move. So match point for the number nine seed from Malaysia. Time's over. 5, 14. Well, 
where you would think at the end of the match he wouldn't have so much penetration with those smashes as he got a little bit fatigued, but no sign of it. Second opportunity. at the start of the match, but match once he settled, his overhead deception was faultless. Thanks. And his net play as well really set up the rally, set up the lift for him to play his wonderful winning smashes. So through to a semi-final, Wong Chun Han of Malaysia. 15-8, 15-5. Come on, come on. 